Hi everyone, welcome back in my channel today. Again, I welcome you all in the series of Let's Understand CSGM 4.0. And today, on the day 4, we bring the domains level discussion in the CSGM. So the first domain which we are going to pick up is the foundation domain. So let's come here. In the foundation domain, if I say, or I can say in the CSGM part, service now have a five domains, foundation, design, build, technical, and the sell and consume. In the first one, we have the foundation. As the name indicate, this is the domain which is going to be base for all other domains as well. Either you talk about the business service, either you talk about the offerings, technical services, design, build, anything you talk. This is going to be base for everything. In this foundation domain or in each of the domain, <coughs> service now has mainly two things. One are the standard definitions or the data and two are the persona or the rule. So if you see on this on this particular image, in the foundation they have a three major role on one side and they have a one major role on the other side. The roles include business process owner, contract manager and the product owner and other side for the data, they have a data manager or data steward. You can say it here. Okay. Now, if I go from the technical, sorry, go from the <coughs> standard definitions, it says it represents those table that contain the base data, which is be required for the CSGM part. And also the tables defined in the foundation are not used in the CMDB relation. It means that if I am putting the user field in my business service. It doesn't mean it, it not providing me any relationship that this user on this CI or this group manage this CI. No, it says only data is there for the relationship. We have a different tables and different type of relationship available given by service now. Okay. And in the persona specifically, the common persona process owner who is going to be manage the overall process data steward who is going to be responsible for the data things which is coming in and out and the product owner and the contract manager in this if you notice one more thing that is the life cycle that what is the life cycle of these things maybe location maybe cmdb groups maybe process maybe data maybe department the, the practical thing is that we did not consider the foundation data as important as we consider the other things. We simply say, yes, oh, data, yes, user data we have, group data we have, location data we have. But how this data is going to be useful for the CSGM different domains, this is what is going to be discussed here. So let's come here. The first one that is called the business process. It is a method of related step that stakeholders take to achieve a business goal. My business goal is to be get my market share by 25% more in 2023. This is my business goal. To achieve that business goal, I have a business processes. Maybe training, maybe recruitment, maybe HR, maybe other stuff I can put in that business process. Business process are the manually maintained configuration item that can identify criticality, declare and determine, as well as impact of confidentiality, integrity and availability as well. What this means specifically that these are kind of a CIs, the business processes kind of CIs which are more critical or we define them as a critical, we identify them as a critical. If in my company, if HR service is not working, HR process is not working, it is going to be impact very badly in that case. Okay. 
and we as a or we as a business process owners always go for the reviews on that but can be quarterly monthly semi yearly half yearly annually anything you can do that part in service now in the business process table these services has been stored this data i know sorry i not say services the data has been stored of the process business process related stuff has been stored there there can be hierarchical as well like incident i have a be i can say an incident i have a major incident as a, as a business process so that i can make sure that my availability should be 100% in that case that is the number one part and the business process owner is maintaining this the process owner is maintaining this again i strongly prefer to read or to go through the itl definitions of the process owners as well the next part that is called the contract contracts are agreement between the two parties i am a service provider and you are the customer and when we make a deal it should be documented somewhere and it is called the contract sale so it is a agreement between you and me which includes start date end date terms condition financial documentation in information everything is there as well so that is called the contract i am sure that everybody understand what is the meaning of the contract here and this is a is has been stored in the ast underscore contract table and again it is not a ci it is just used to identify that what terms and condition what discussions what things has been defined and according to that i have to provide a service maybe i have a contract for my with my customer to provide 24 by 7 services so i have to provide if it is not in my contract i am not liable to do that particular part you can see here now the third point which is important the models or the products if i say now a day service now changing its view on the model perspective if you know or don't know that in the tokyo and the previous release service now introduced the change model on the very broad level very broad level they they introduce they are saying for the infra you have a different model for the network you have different model for the analysis you have different model it means you can drive your things you can drive your workflows you can drive your approvals on the basis of the models and here also the concept service introduced is called the product model specifically and what this says these are the specific version or configuration of a product used for managing and tracking through the various service now platform so service now itself is a product if i say like like macbook is a product and under that i have different different models available every product has a different models iphone is a product but different models iphone 6 7 13 14 pro these are the different model and every model has a product owner who is going to be owning this so like if we are using the agile we have a product owner for our different different squads like change incident problem request knowledge cmdb csm we have different different product owner here okay and it has been reference to the catalogs because at the last customer is buying to the product and under that they can define the models as well. okay i want to be this particular model in my organization service now say that we have total seven type of models hierarchy let me zoom little bit more so that we can read about this particular screenshot so you can see here the product cmdb underscore model is the base table or i can say the 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 uh, table in the table like it's a one first table and under that we have a application model we have a software model we have a contract model we have a facility model and we have another hardware and the consumable model and the service model because sometime i am not able to sell my services as a stand alone i need some models on the place 24/7 working model 8 cross 4 5 working model these are the models but these models are part of the different different things if you are in the support it's 24/7 if you are in the development it it cross 5 
so the same manner service now say that you can use this model hierarchy and you can store your data in this particular the product data in the particular things it is again important to understand that the importance of this hierarchy is actually required if you put your data in the wrong model you are building a wrong csgm on the top of that or you you are not using the csgm in the right direction so like as i say like flash based server hardware model and 24 by 7 support service model so service model is like 24 by 7 development model is like 8 cross 5 production support is like 365 but 8 cross 18 that can be the that can be the models has been defined here because the 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 thing which is important to understand every business every customer has its own way to do the business and they don't want to modify that they say i have these things can you accommodate in service now yes or no you have to be answer so it says the base the parent table is cmdb model here and it is not a configuration items no you are not going to be raise a change on these you are not going to be raise incident on these they are the supporting factors for you you can populate these things in your services but you cannot raise the case raise the incident on this particular stuff the next one which we have is called the cmdb group a very much important very good concept is available here now the thing is that <coughs> sorry cmdb group says that i want a single place to know that how my cis are scattered and i can put one group on that part so like if i take example recently whatsapp launched a concept called the community it means all the like minded groups you can add at a one place and then get the information or you can pass the information from there this is the same thing which i understand from my knowledge i'm putting it here maybe it's a little bit different a little bit wrong so you can correct me in the comment section so it says it is a group of collection of ci based on save query in the query builder and coded queries and the manual entries it means i want to know that or i want a group where i know or i want to map that any data center which is available in delhi calcutta and bombay should be part of this group so i can i can put the queries and i can make it as a single group these groups can be used for the approvals as well in the change this is what we have done earlier but it is not a configuration item it is just for your grouping purpose and it says like the purpose of the cmdb group is to provide a grouping of ci means you can make a category so now the maybe question can come atul we have a ci classes yes i agree but i want to know that how many classes has been operated or maintained or supported by x group in that case you can use the cmdb group as a concept there and within the csgm the dynamic ci group is used so we have this concept in the upcoming uh, videos where you can understand that how the dynamic ci group actually work i will try in the next uh, slides or in the next video i'll try to take you on the cmdb on the service now as well so that we can see the different table available with the demo or the dummy data okay the the table which i am using is cmdb group it can contain one or more saved query but it cannot be a nested group means one group cannot contain the another group okay this is what we have to be very clearly identify very clearly understand this particular part okay so let's take a break here guys and we'll come back to the next section of the foundation um, one that is called the life cycle and we'll take a discussion on these parts as well locations group user and the other things if you like this video please put the like put the comments share with your friends so that everybody can get knowledge and understand the csgm in a depth thank you so much have a nice day see you again